part of me was sort of afraid that, oh, great, we're just going to feed into this whole, you know, trope that menopausal women are doddering, you know, moody, uh, brain foggy people. And yet at the same time, it's affirmation to all these women that they're not imagining it. That's what it's all about, because we did think that for a long time. And many women still feel like that. They feel like it's in their head. They feel like there's something wrong with them. It's just really raising the awareness so women do not feel like it's all in their head. They understand there's actually something going on. And then they can ask the right questions. And then you've got research, like we're talking about with Dr. Moscone, that backs that up. So many women say that to the point that over 80% of all perimenopausal and postmenopausal women experience at least one neurological symptom during menopause. 80%? 80%. And brain fog, even though it may, sound, it may sound benign, but it's actually quite challenging for so many women, actually almost two-thirds of all perimenopausal and postmenopausal women. So it's something that I think we should do is start earlier, yeah. not after not menopause. After. Also okay. after menopause, but perhaps a little bit sooner, earlier than that.